Good day folks and welcome. We're in the kitchens again today coming near to Robert Burns' birthday the 25th of January so it's appropriate for me to prepare you a Robert Burns dinner and we're also going to talk about the Selkirk Grace. The first thing we're going to do now is show the ingredients and show you how to prepare it. Okay. Now, Robert Burns is Scotland's national bard, revered throughout the whole of the world, and uh, he's very famous indeed. A lot of his poems and songs are still mentioned and performed throughout the whole of the world. And there's also the Selkirk Grace. Now, Grace is a small prayer, but we'll come to that shortly. First thing we're going to do now is prepare the Burns Supper. Burns Night is celebrated throughout the whole of the world. It was on the 25th of January, and there's many, many Burns Suppers throughout the whole of the UK and the world to celebrate that special day, Robert Burns' birthday on the 25th. So I'm going to show you how to prepare the meal. It's very, very simple. And I'll show you the ingredients now. The first thing we have here, of course, is the haggis. Okay, that's the haggis. Now, for the, those of you who are vegetarians, you can actually purchase a vegetarian haggis as well. Um, it comes in this form, or you can have it come, it comes in slices, buy it in local supermarkets or local butchers. And as I say, they do vegetarian haggis as well as the traditional haggis. Okay, this is a traditional one we're using today. And then we have the champit neeps and champit tatties. Now all that means it's mashed turnips and mashed potato. Okay, that's all that means. Champ it means mashed in Scottish. I'm going to put some onions in because onions is one of my favourite vegetables and it always seems to enhance the meal. Gives it a very, very good flavour. I'm going to put these onions in as well, okay? So here we go. We'll worry about these drinks later on, don't worry. <laughs> okay. Anyway, here we go. Now, obviously I'm not going to cook all this haggis. So I'm going to put some of it, I'm going to cook half of this, put some of it in a dish, so we're left with this one. Now, flatten that out, put that air on the side of the plate. Very, very simple to cook this, very easy. And then we're going to put the mashed potatoes and turnips in now on the plate. reasonable portion and that goes in there and then the potatoes the champit tatties is the call now just to make things equal, put the onions in first. Onions in next I should say. Alright, so there we are. That's all ready to go and be cooked. If you want you can knock that haggis down, flatten it down and make it equilibrium to the to the rest of the ingredients there. I'm going to mash this up a little bit so it'll be easier to cook as well. Cut you up the ready slick as they say in the poem. Gushing the entrails brick by Connie Ditch and oh what a glorious sight. 
warm Rican rich. You'll be able to listen and view all that on my Address to the Haggis video, which I made recently. So that looks a bit, a bit equal now. So that's your haggis. Okay, there we are, all ready to go. That's your haggis. Mashed turnips, mashed potatoes, and I've put some sorted onions in. Okay? Prepare these onions beforehand, prepare them and give them a wee sauté, you know, just make them soften them up a bit. So that's all ready to go. So we're talking about between 12 and 15 minutes here. Okay, I'm going to put them in for 12 minutes to start with. Here we go. So there we go, ready to go in. Micro. Burn supper going in. Closing the door. I'm going to put a splash, a little splash tissue on here just in case. I'm not saying it'll splash an awful lot, but I always like to put a splash, splash sheet over when cooking in the micro. There we go, that's it in there. Close the door. See what? High, on a high. I'm going to put them up to I'm going to put them up to 12 minutes. If it needs any more, we'll give it another couple of minutes, but that should be ample. I'm going to talk a little bit more about the Selkirk Grace while we're here. waiting on the haggis cooking. Now the Silk of Grace, the story goes that Robert Burns used it in 1794 in the Heden High Street Kirkudbride. Now apparently they were having a meal in there and at this meal there was a very important gentleman by the name of Dunbar Douglas. And Dunbar Douglas was the fourth Earl of Selkirk from 1794. And the grace, before Burns got hold of it, it was called the Galloway Grace or the Covenanters Grace. And Burns modernised it. That's when it became known as the Selkirk Grace because it was said at that dinner in the Heat Inn, Burns' version was, some have meat but cannot eat, some have none but want it, but we have meat and we can eat, so let the Lord be thank it. Now the original, which is said long, long before Robert Burns' day, the original was, some hae meat and canna eat, and some would eat that want it. But we hae meat and we can eat, and say the Lord be thank it. So that's the silk of grace, folks. Um, a lot of people did think that Robert Burns actually composed this grace. Now all that Robert Burns was, he became very fond of the grace, the silk of grace, and he used it quite a lot. And all he did was adjust it slightly there, just to his own style. But the Selkirk Grace is used on many, many occasions and uh, it can be heard in a lot of situations. So the old one was the Galloway Grace or the Covenanters Grace and the new one, the modern one, is the Selkirk Grace. Now as I say, I think it all stemmed from meeting this D Dunbar Douglas he was the fourth Earl of Selkirk and he was up this dinner over at the Sheep's Head in Kukubright. So that's the Selkirk Grace. If you want to know a little bit more about the bard, the famous bard, just Google or YouTube and uh, you'll see the many, many works that he has composed during his lifetime. He didn't live a, a 
long time. He, he died pretty early, actually. He died of heart failure. But uh, as I say, his work goes on. His work continues. The famous old Lang Syne. Dimension, dimension one. So that we, there we go. We'll get it ready for the toast there. I'll have the drinks ready. Now, folks, I'm pulling out after 10 minutes because I can smell it and I know by these smells that it's ready. So when it comes to dinner, make sure you take something, a cloth or something to lift that plate because it will be hot when it comes out. Only 10 minutes to cook and it looks absolutely delightful, delicious. That's your mum's dinner, already in 10 minutes. Just put the finishing touch on. Traditional haggis, neeps and tatties dinner. Now, we'll see the grease, now that it's, it's all out, and we'll see the grease for it. The grease. Some him eat and canna eat, and some would eat that want it. But we him eat. And we can eat and say the Lord, we thank it. There we are, folks. Now, I think the taste is appropriate. Oh, it's a warm, freaking rich, all right. Here we go for a taste. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. If your preparations are as good as that, you'll have an excellent burn supper. So there we are folks. The burn supper. The toast. Slangevar to the haggis. Slangevar to the haggis, folks. Slanty. So there we are, folks. That's your bun supper. I hope you all have a great Burns night. I hope you're all attending a Burns night anyway. And those that you haven't been to a Burns night, I think you'll really enjoy it. Obviously the Covid is restricting things. You can always have a Burns night in the house with your family. So, and don't forget, I have a, the address to the Haggis on the, the last video that I made. And you can watch that and show how the Haggis was addressed. It was serenaded, so to speak. Serenaded before it's played up and people can enjoy it then. So all the best folks and hope to catch you all on the next journey. Bye for now.